crackberry.com. My name is Dave Peckins, and I'm the winner of the Crackberry Idol Contest 2010. Uh, yeah, Crackberry Idol is kind of like American Idol, but for the Crackberry blog, we had to do reviews, and there was rounds, people voted, and it came down to five of us, and I won. It feels pretty awesome, actually. It's a big deal. I mean, I, I don't think I've even... It's been weeks since I've... Weeks, would you say? About a week and a half. About a week and a half since I've won, and I'm still taking it in. It's like, I, my goal ultimately is to spread the word about mobile technology as a whole, BlackBerry being awesome as it is. If I can do that on the site and I can do it in a good way and get people read it and they, they, it enhances their experience, all the better. My first BlackBerry, personally, was a 6230 that I bought for myself and brought to work and they were like, we can't put that on the bears. And I'm like, yes, you can. And they're like, why? And I'm like, well, because I know all about it. And they're like, okay. So then I became the best like, admin at my company. That's how it all worked. Right now I'm rocking the 9700. Uh, I have a torch. I won through the contest actually, which I do like, but not as much as the 9700. So top apps. My favorite app personally is Social Scope. They're here tonight at the party. That's a good time. Social, oh my god, it's a huge app. It's uh, a social networking app. It includes Twitter application, Facebook application, uh, Flickr application, and Foursquare all into one app. All into one stream if you want to read it all at one time. And um, it's free. It's still in private beta, but it's free. And I found out tonight that they're going to keep it free, which is awesome for everybody. Um, it, once it comes out of private beta, it's going to be big. Huge. This week alone is I was acclimated not only to DevCon and all of the announcement that came out from RIM, but to the Crackberry team itself. So I've learned like about the playbook. I learned about how they blog on the site. It's it's a very unique experience, and I'm I'm gonna have to go home and digest for a week before I'm like ready up and running. You know, what really surprised me was that all the other BlackBerry blogs that are out there. They're all like friends. They all hang out together. I was like, aren't they the competition? And but that's okay, like because they all they help each other become better at what they're doing. So that was a surprise, but it's a good surprise. What have you liked most about being the the idol? Uh, I got a free device. I got to come to DevCon for free. I'm here enjoying a good time, learning awesome things about BlackBerry I wouldn't have known. I would have been at home like reading the blogs. I would have been at home like trying to watch the live telecast and I wouldn't have been able to get it through because it would have been blippy or something. And here I am in person. This is a great experience. I didn't see uh, being a blogger as being actual press. So that's new for me like, coming into the, to DevCon. I was like, wow, they're really like, they're like in the press box. They're like, the old Superstar. journalists, you know, they're like, like it was, but you're not only a journalist, but you are nationally on this blog, you know, it's, it, you're wearing two hats, maybe even more than that. So that's kind of an eye opening thing to me about how bloggers do things, you know, you've got to be, you're a reporter and you're also a personality yeah. at the same time. I got to tell you, I'm very excited to be part of the Crackberry team. It's been something I've been watching for years. The Crackberry Yellow Contest came along, I entered, you know, like, I'll give it a shot. Why did you enter it? Mm. Personally, I felt I had a Crackberry story to tell all the time because I've always been around the devices and been an enthusiast about it, but never really had a chance or wanted to um, to blog about it in, at, to that level. And I'm like, wow, here's a chance, you know? And then I won the contest, so here I am doing what I would love. <laughs> um, I don't know that I thought I would win, uh, but I kind of planned for it. I mean, I took this time off work and everything. I have a day job, you know? and uh, it's been it's it's just been an amazing, awesome experience. And, uh, what did your family think? Very supportive. They like now they read the Crackberry blog, and <laughs> they watched like the whole DevCon thing. And my parents were like, "That was great!" And we saw the back of your head. And I'm like. What are you talking about? They like saw the Engadget picture where we're sitting in the front row and it was like, okay, mom, dad, that's great. You know, so they're very supportive of this. They're like, they know I'm doing what I love and I'm helping people. And that, those two things together, what more could you ask for? I, I can say that it was very interesting meeting the, the, um, the Crackberry team in person because you know them through the site or you know them through, you know, BBM or email or whatever. But to meet someone in person, it's, it's a totally different experience. You know, you're off the digital realm. You're like there per, face to face. You feel their energy, you know who they are. And that's been like getting to know them or know their quirks or how they do things in person is different than offline. So that's been, that's been the like learning experience for me about Crackberry team. Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. Thank you. 
crackberry.com.